Hello everyone, this is Mike again. I, I'm i pulling out my Acer Cloud Book again. Anybody experience, I don't know if anyone's experienced this. Uh, in my case, I have two laptops. I have several desktops. Um, in my case, Microsoft has made a decision, helped me make a decision. I've been going back and forth on uh, going to Linux on this Acer, which came with Windows, with Windows 10. Um, I updated to the anniversary uh, or the um, creator's edition uh, Windows 10 and I noticed my bab battery life went way down on both my laptops. So I went back to I think it's called 1503 or something which is one of the early releases of Windows 10. Okay. Not too long, a few days ago, because I've set up this not to accept updates unless I manually put them. But Microsoft was bound and determined to give me that, uh, as far as this computer, the battery hogging example of uh, Windows 10. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and go to Linux. So what I've done and I'm running Mint 8.1 now you're going to notice because I'm going to do this in real time that this does not boot up as fast because I did take off the since it has a non replaceable 32 gigabyte MMC or uh, not soldered in SD card like hard drive it does take longer to boot because I took the swap swap partition off since it is uh, non-replaceable, I don't want as many don't I don't want that many rights. And a swap peti swap petition gives you extra rights on your SD card. And this is being non-replaceable. It's not necessary. So it does take twice as long to boot up. But the performance once it boots up is quite good. It's much faster than it was running on 10. Um, the computer itself does not run not, does not get as warm underneath. Well, you notice the warmth is when it, where it's underneath. So, I'm running Mint 8.1. I did run 8.2 for a while, and I'll tell you once this thing, I'll show you why I don't want 8.2. Uh, although it has a lot of features, I may upgrade to it if I find out a way to do it without losing this one feature. And I'll show the feature once it boots up. Okay, come on now, boot up. That is one thing, if you're going to take your swap partition off, sometimes for some computers it may slow it down, so keep that in mind. But like I said, this computer does not need a swap partition, the, uh, it's just extra rights that I don't care on an SD card or a built-in memory chip type computer. Now the other thing I have is for this one, is I have a... Uh, an SD card on the side here. If you've seen any of my past videos, you know I have a flush video, a flush card right here. And I'm running Wine um, so that I can run some Windows programs. I would like to install Chrome for some reason, Ubuntu and Mint both don't like you running Chrome. I don't know what in the world that's all about. Uh, everybody runs Chrome. I still like Chrome, but uh, I am trying to get some Windows programs to run on Wine on my built-in SD card. It's a 65 gigger. Anyway, this is just an update. Oh, let me show you. Let me tell you why I don't want to use Run uh, 8.2 Mint. Now this computer came with the ability to use my FM, key, FM keys to brighten and lower my screen. I like that. Now what the Mint 8.2 has is auto dimming, which is all fine and good. I would like to have the choice to do up, uh, auto, auto dimming, not you tell me what um, without you just take the choice away. I don't like that. The sound still works. FM key, FN keys. But anyway, that's the update. 
Uh, it seems to run very fast and very stable on Mint 8.1 or 8.2 if that's what you want. Uh, but like I said, um, I don't like the fact that they have auto dimming on 8.2. But they run about the same. This computer runs nice and quick. And uh, if you're thinking about getting away from Windows 10, it's one of the many, of course, Linux distributions you can go to. Anyway, have a good day. Uh, this is Mike. I'll see you next video. Take care.